Coffee Acquired. And truthfully, that is a huge reason of why I'm trying to make this. And then I get this. All right, so we have a lot of work to do, but we have two major problems. One, your boy needs a haircut, for real. Look at this mop. And then two, of course, we need a fun drink. I don't know if it's gonna be coffee yet. I've already had a lot of caffeine today, but. Yo, this is Andrew on the edit. Don't listen to that idiot. Always coffee. Every time, 10 times out of 10, no such thing as a caffeine limit. We need some kind of fun drink. So let's go grab a haircut, let's get a fun drink, and then let's start uh, cracking out some projects. Bro, it is so windy outside today. Look at my freaking hair. When you live out in the boonies and you don't have any tree lines or anything, like it's all cornfields around me. So there are no tree breaks, nothing like that to uh, cut down on the wind. And it just gets ridiculous here. But at least it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous day, sun's out. A uh, little cloud coverage, but quite beautiful otherwise. But uh, yeah, back onto this uh, road trip. to the cloud. The problem I've got right now is I'm trying to execute terminal command. All right, so not even 20 minutes ago, I mentioned how beautiful a day it was, the sun shining. Well, clearly I was fucking wrong. What is this crap? I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but it is uh, most definitely starting to pick up raining. Uh, and yeah, just absolutely gross out now. So, super cool. Thanks, weather. All right, so we just parked. Thankfully, thankfully, it's <laughs> it stopped raining. So I'm gonna hustle my ass into this uh, hair salon to get this mop cut. And then right next door to the hair salon is a coffee shop that I used to go to all the time in college. And so we're gonna pop in there, say what's up, see if any homies are working today, and then uh, grab a maybe a cappuccino, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, I had some coffee and caffeine earlier today, but I'm feeling a little fiendish. Uh, so maybe we're gonna get another coffee. All right, let's go get this mop cut, uh, grab that coffee, and then head back to the house and start building for the day. We need to make a landing page and not a, not a landing page in where I'm going to accept payments or anything like that. That's not the idea, but a email wait list. That's the idea. The uh, an email wait list to allow potential clients, potential users of the app to sign up, get involved in the development prioritori uh, prioritories, priori priorities, holy shit, that was hard to say, get involved in the development priorities and make recommendations and a couple other questions that I have to just make sure that I'm headed the right direction. Um, so we're gonna get this haircut, start working on that because I need to start collecting user feedback very quickly. All right, coffee acquired. We did it to ourselves. It is uh, 324 in the afternoon, but uh, it's okay. My wife will hate me because I won't want to go to sleep tonight. Still super windy, it's kind of dreary out now. You know, it's beautiful and sunny and what is this crap? But anyways, we are headed back to the house Haircut acquired, looks great, love it, feeling fresh. I don't know about y'all, but I hate when my hair just starts to feel super thick and heavy and hot and itchy and I just start to whine a lot and my wife hates it. <laughs> so uh, time, you know, going to grab a haircut, feeling nice and fresh. Now let's head back home so that we can go start working on this email list. would have come on here and say wow some crazy sun going on while working through this email list part of the problems that I'm working through are ideating and trying to determine what would be the MVP pieces and features of the application itself and truthfully that is a huge reason of why I'm trying to make this email sign up page because I don't want to be making this in a vacuum. I wanna be working with the target audience on the things that would actually benefit them. So if you are one of those woodworkers, especially if you are generally somebody that finds themselves going to the craft fairs and selling their product, you are my target audience. I wanna help you streamline your operations in a way that is uh, sustainable, in a way that is friendly to actually use. A lot of these big time products 
they're just super confusing for the small like mom and pop shop type operations, you know, hobbyists that also sell their products, things like that. So if you were part of that group, please help me define this product. I want your opinions. I want your guidance. I want all of it, the goods, the bads, the uglies. You, I promise you, you won't hurt my feelings by telling me that a particular feature that I think is cool in my head is just not very useful or helpful to you. So if you are part of this target audience, please sign up. I encourage you get involved, drop some comments down below. I would love the feedback. And I hope to uh, drop this email sign up page, officially drop it in the next couple days to a week. You know, we have Easter coming up, I have family coming in, so that will definitely take up some of my time. I'm still doing this YouTube thing on the side. That obviously takes up some time. Still working a nine to five, still a parent, still a husband. So we have to balance the priorities of working on the fun stuff, and doing the stuff that I need to do just to satisfy all the other aspects of my life. So we're gonna wrap up this little coding session and, or design session and go make some dinner, get back to it tonight. I will see you after dinner. So it's the next day and I'm editing this video and I realized it never came and told you my first freaking blocker of this project already. So y'all are well aware now that I'm trying to make this email list to get subscribers to feed them a survey so that I can learn more about the particular features and roadmap that would solve the, the best part of the audience. Bro, SendGrid, a lot of people are like, I love SendGrid, it's such a great product. I couldn't even make an account. Whether through my domain email or trying to sign up with my Gmail, SendGrid would just throw an error, couldn't create a unified email. No responses, there's no chat did eventually find this hidden uh, troubleshooting article where their suggestion is just put your email plus one at your domain and that will trick the system to be a new email, <laughs> but it'll still route to your mailbox. What a shitty thing to have to work through. You can't even create an account on SendGrid, but I worked through it, made the account on SendGrid, started to wire some things up, and then I get this. So needless to say, we're ditching SendGrid. SendGrid, you're terrible. I hate you. I hear you're great. Couldn't even tell you. Would not be able to, <laughs> I have no clue. And instead we're going to MailerLite. And huge shout out to MailerLite. I got an account created, the domain verified, new records in my name cheap domain, and authenticated in less than 15 minutes. So shout out MailerLite. You're awesome. I'm gonna continue to use you. Peace out, SendGrid, you're terrible. I don't know how SendGrid as a business just gets customers. Maybe it's because I didn't have an LLC pawn account creation. Good gosh, what a painful experience. But if y'all need a good service to create some of your emails and deal with your sender list, check out the link down below. This is not sponsored. I just really appreciated MailerLite. It was super easy. They have all of the same free plans and functionalities as SendGrid, but it actually works. But that's gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna have this email wait list dropped within the next few days. You'll definitely see it in the next video, but stay tuned in the next video as we finally, hurrah, finally start diving into actual React Native code, working through this real product, and I'm super excited to get down to work, start building, start devin. So if you are, not devin the AI, but deving as in writing code. <laughs> so if you're a dev, subscribe, come along for this journey. It's gonna be a lot of fun, super stoked to build with y'all, and I'll see you next week. Peace.